Honestly, 2022 was a very predictable year. Vince McMahon stepping down, the CM Punk press conference, Sasha and Naomi walking out, Cody Rhodes turning to WWE. I know I predicted every single one of those things, but if you didn't, uh, you're probably just dumb. I'm going to give my 2023 predictions at the end of this video, but in today's video, we're going to be going back to the start of last year and see who managed to predict the most obvious year in wrestling. Alright, so this person has given us 10 predictions. We'll see how many of those he got right. AJ Styles wins his third WWE title. Bailey returns as a babyface. MJF beats Hangman for the belt. Okada makes his AEW debut. Oh. SRKO versus RKO Bro is the tag team feud of the year. I'm not just saying this to be funny or whatever. I, I genuinely don't know who that is. The Hardys become the AEW tag team champions. Adam Cole defeats Cody Rhodes for the TNT title. Roman Reigns will hold on to the Universal title for the entire year of 2022. Couldn't even get that right. Roman Reigns let go of the title many times. In fact, Paul Heyman held it up more often than he did. Jungle Boy will turn heel and start going by Jungle Jack Perry because he's not a boy anymore. Keith Lee, Johnny Gargano, Ember Moon and Tony Storm will debut for AEW. Paige returns to pro wrestling. With one guess, this person managed to get more right than the last person. Cody loses the TNT title to a high profile free agent. I will just say one. AEW will get more talent from WWE. That's a pretty bold prediction, I can't lie. Um, my prediction for this year with AEW is that they are going to use ring ropes. Impact is going to tease something huge, like a bullet club implosion or civil war that will eventually go nowhere for the foreseeable future. I had to Google this because I didn't know when it was, but this, this already happened in 2021. These people are just predicting the worst. I'll be optimistic. Oh good. The AEW video game will be really damn good and almost a return to the glory days of the N64 era of wrestling games. We never got to play it, but he does have another prediction. And whilst we're making positive predictions, I think WWE will have a much more positive year. Better stories, no mass layoffs, no dramatic selling of the company, just building up what they have and putting on a good show and hopefully winning back some fans. Taker is probably going into the Hall of Fame this year, and even McCool. I actually knew someone who watched wrestling as a kid and their favourite wrestler of all the wrestlers was Michelle McCool. So they'd probably be happy with this. I love how every single Cody Rhodes prediction is just wrong by default. <laughs> Cody, wrong. Triple H saves NXT 2.0 by playing up the strengths of the new talent. All he really changed was the colour scheme, but I suppose that counts for something. Another scandal happens. Um, suppose you could say that. WWE goes back to being WWF and the World Wildlife Fund now becomes World Wildlife Entertainment and the pandas have to start doing flips and stuff. Farmer Brock Lesnar does a kids show on PBS. He teaches kids how to hunt moose, the animal, not the impact champ. Jade will be undefeated for a very long time. Eventually Red Velvet will go over and be the first woman to give Jade a loss. Vince McMahon is finally retiring from his position one way or another. Roman Reigns turns babyface and it actually works this time. Roman will turn face and it'll be received poorly. Jurassic Express and Pride and Powerful win the tag gold. PNP will take the belts. Santana and Ortiz will finally become tag champions. I don't want to talk about this one. Chelsea Green wins Ultimate X and goes on to face Diana, who wins the knockouts title. That's a unusually specific prediction. Shane Taylor makes his AEW debut. Silas Young joins Violent by Design. Steve Macklin wins the X Division title. It's funny, right? Because one of my pet hates in wrestling, and Impact specifically, is when a big wrestler who doesn't flip wins the X Division title, and yet Josh Alexander has been the best X Division champion in over a decade. Ty Conti will be the TBS champion. I've seen this one quite a few times pop up, and I don't really know why. I don't know what was happening a year ago that made people think this, but this is quite a popular one. This one is for the uh, Stardom fans. A, a bold prediction, I'm sure. I, I don't know if it happened or not, but there you go. Brian Danielson wrestles Zack Sabre Jr. in the New Japan ring. The House of Black becomes an official faction with Malachi as the leader, Brody King as his number two, and several other members joining. What were they? What was, was that not a thing this time last year? What? This year is literally seven years long. Kenny Omega will appear on a New Japan show in some capacity, most likely appearing in a surprise video to call out an opponent for Wrestle Kingdom 17 in 2023 during a New Japan show in late 22. That was, uh scarily accurate to tell you the truth for me i don't know what's going to happen this year 2022 for wrestling but i hope to see more great matches and see wrestlers win championship belts that's what i hope to see no offense but that is the shittest prediction ever 
Undertaker Sting will fucking happen. Brock Lesnar to AEW 2022. Dario Cueto to make an appearance in AEW. This man, whose name I can't pronounce, wrestling a match for WWE or AEW, I know that that's a basketball player because I watch basketball now because I'm a very cool person. Huh? Ja Morant, am I right? But this fella thinks it's the Greek wrestler from NXT. Ring of Honor will enter the Forbidden Door with the Foundation coming to purify the X Division. I'd actually like that, to be honest. Nick Gage, John Moxley, Eddie Kingston and Joe Janela will form a heel stable who want to bring ultraviolence and death matches to the AEW roster. I'd actually hate that, to be honest. I know some people are enthusiastic, but it's not really for me. Dynamite will start beating Raw comfortably in the ratings in about eight months. That's almost a foregone conclusion. After Roman Reigns loses the Universal title in 2022, SmackDown's ratings go into free fall and Dynamite becomes the most viewed wrestling show in the United States. The Rock will appear in and wrestle in AEW. Effie, AEW World Champion. John Cena returns and dethrones Roman Reigns with Ric Flair as special ref. Triple H has his retirement match with AJ Styles at WrestleMania. CM Punk returns to WWE. Adam Cole gets called up to Raw or SmackDown. Cesaro gets the main event push in WWE. Samoa Joe becomes WWE Champion. <laughs> and COVID-19 <laughs> COVID pandemic ends so fans can return. I wasn't aware creative had control over a fucking pandemic. William Regal will sign with AEW and work with talent on Dark and Elevation. Could you imagine how boring that would have been <laughs> if that was just all he did? Malachi Black will win a title in AEW. I predict Damien Priest will become WWE World Champion. We get Heel Punk versus Face Mox. Do you seriously not want CM Punk to come back? Rhea betrays Nikki and goes heel. I genuinely forgot about that tag team. The AEW Championship will be vacated for some reason. Someone has to vacate a title in 2022. They've been incredibly fortunate since 2019, but you can only be fortunate so many times. Vladimir Kozlov returns and beats up Rey Mysterio. Backstage segment where Michael Cole gets caught either pissing or shitting into a bucket. Almost gets put into a dancing gimmick, then promptly gets released. Corey Grave doesn't wrestle a single match. That is a bold prediction. Fair, and then they got it right. Fair play. I've got a prediction like that as well, right? The person who I don't think will have any matches at all this year is Test. Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn will have an actually entertaining match at WrestleMania. This is only wrong because of how much of an understatement it is. A big name free agent expected to sign with AEW will sign with Impact Wrestling instead. Bully Ray. Bang on. Big WWE management shakeup. Possibly Vince stepping down. And before someone replies with it'll never happen or he'll take it to the grave, you have a sample size of zero. Age is catching up to him. He lost two family members and his best friend recently. He's cutting every cost. <laughs> NWA will get a TV deal. Jacob Fatu will get signed by WWE. Aaron Anderson will bring his gun to the ring. Chris Jericho may lose a retirement match. Hardy Boys will reunite for one last run in AEW. The Ring of Honor Championship will be defended in AEW TV. Jamie Hayter will win the women's title. So those last three predictions are pretty solid, right? There's three more coming from the next person who says, Ratings will keep sliding if they do comedy. Ratings will hit 1.5 million if they do pro wrestling. Ratings will hit 2 million if they do CM Punk versus Byron uh, on Dynamite. This company won't last a year. What sort of idiot would say something like that? Shane Taylor and Keith Lee reunite and run rough shot on the tag division. Second half of 2022, the acclaim become one of the hottest acts in wrestling. Brian Danielson wins the World Championship off Paige. This is a mad prediction to be fair, especially since she wasn't even back wrestling at this point. Chris Bay or Ace Austin will win the Impact World title and establish themselves as the face of the company. I've been predicting that for the last, like, five years. It's the hope that kills. Gargano becomes a PC trainer, replacing Scotty 2 Huddy. Naomi joins the Bloodline and dethrones Charlotte for the belt. MJF becomes NWA champion, defeating Trevor Murdoch. Matt Cardona becomes NWA World Heavyweight Champion, but it doesn't help NWA that much. Jeff Hardy gets released from WWE individually and joins AEW. MLW Invasion of AEW. Jeff Jarrett again attempts to make a wrestling promotion, this time involving both country music and cryptocurrency somehow. NXT UK is finally folded. A UK wrestling TV show affiliated with AEW, A AAA, and New Japan is begun. Of course, the highly in-demand AAA affiliated wrestling promotion. That is what is going to drive ratings in ITV. Chris Hero will appear in AEW. 205 Live will be named NXT Main Event. Rey Mysterio leaves WWE again, turns heel, and does a Matt Cardona by winning the GCW title. AEW will hold an event at Craven Cottage. This only interests me if Mitrovic makes an appearance and headbutts MJF. Otherwise, I don't really care. So now that's everyone else's predictions, I think it's only fair that if I'm going to laugh at everyone else, 
I'm going to make my own predictions, right? But these predictions I've thought about in a lot of detail. I genuinely believe that these are going to happen. And, you know, come 2024, nobody is going to be laughing at this, right? So, I think... (laughs) 